Cat, it's Max Winters here. I haven't done many videos about PNC tools, the company that was bought out by Proto, but we got a PNC, excuse me, swing pole ratchet here. And anvil's reasonably tight. Very basically cheap and cheesy ratchet design. Notorious for the reverse lever to pop off just because it's barely staked on there. But a lot of people like them because they, indeed they are reliable. All the Pittsburgh professional, you know, cheapo ratchets all use swing paul it's amazing it pretty much became the standard for uh cheap ratchets even though it was i believe proto who came up with it and then after they bought pnc they just produced the same proto ratchets just under the pnc uh name this happens to be a 3210 and as bad as it is as chunky as this one is i have to admit it still works i've seen some tests there's a few tests uh, on youtube as well as on some uh various Forms and it's surprisingly enough, these are not the strongest design, but they do seem to hold up. I'm just going to pop this open. I'm not going to do too much to re restore this. It isn't uh, some magically golden ratchet that I really need to keep going, or that I really should fully restore. I've never been great at restoring stuff anyway. I get it working, but not as far as cosmetically restoring things. Never been my deal pop off that bottom plate you can see why it's so chunky this is one of the reasons you don't use grease it's just because it just gets all gunked up very coarse looks like a 32 36 tooth and you can just see the swing balls it's just that reverse lever either pushes one out of the way or pushes the other out of the way so this is a short little video to show on the pnc version of the proto swing ball ratchet and uh even though <laughs> They're not my favorite, actually. I think they're pretty darn cheesy. I will give them credit in two places. One, these do have tend to have thinner or narrower heads, so they are better access in many situations. And there's something else that people remind me of, is the fact that the nature of that paw and its angle and just the lightweight spring, the back drag on these ratchets can be very low. This is indeed, even this one I didn't clean up very well, just adding a little lube super duper duper low back drag and that's something that's pretty undeniable a lot of people really have issues with that where you're just trying to undo a fastener and there's just so much back drag that as soon as it gets a little bit loose it's just rocking back and forth but you're not really in a very convenient or a position where you can like reach up with your fingers to try to get the bolt out and it can lead to frustration so i will admit that that swing pole ratchets do also have their place just because of the fact of super duper duper low back drag which doesn't with the combined with the low profile head and the low back drag does make them a more useful tool although for that trade-off the heads are quite wide on these pair heads they are extremely wide anyway just wanted to share that with y'all i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do till next time caddis maximus out